Welcome to my YouTube channel. Have you ever seen the people with too much height and some people are very short and the question must be clicking in your mind how is that and why is that then see today's video listen it properly till the end. Hello to everyone I hope you are doing good today our topic of discussion is pituitary gland. Pituitary gland is part of endocrine system. If you want to know about endocrine system then go through my playlist you will find a topic endocrine system and exocrine system you will know better there the difference between the endocrine exocrine system and its various parts its types in detail pituitary gland is very important gland of our body as it's a gland it secretes hormones different types of hormones that activate stimuli initiate or start up different activities inside our body pituitary gland is also known as master gland of the body because it releases some special hormones not hormones it's hormones pituitary gland releases hormones that starts or activate other glands of the body other four important glands of the body it activates thyroid gland adrenal gland it activates our gonads and various other tissues and cells inside our body therefore it's called master gland of the body pituitary gland located in the head region just below the hypothalamus just below the hypothalamus it is hanging in this dark the stalk of pituitary gland is called infundibulum the pituitary gland has two lobes on the anterior side the lobe is called anterior pituitary lobe or anterior lobe the posterior side is lobe is called posterior lobe pituitary gland is very small about of about 1 cm in length and its weight is approximately 0.5 or half gram pituitary gland is also known as, known as hypophysis cerebri pituitary gland secretes its own hormones also releases the hormone of hypothalamus the posterior lobe of pituitary gland releases the hormone of hypothalamus the posterior lobe of pituitary gland releases two hormones the most two important hormones number 1 is oxytocin and number 2 is adh shortly it's for adh stands for antidiuretic hormone which is also known as vasopressin antidiuretic hormone retains the water inside our body or keeps the balance in the in keeps the balance of water inside our body when the adh released when our body has less water inside our body adh release what adh does it goes to the kidney and it stops the filtration of extra water so it retains the water it keeps the water inside our body the balance of water keeps the osmo regulation inside our body that's why it's very important because it keeps the water balance in our body water the amount of water amount to, uh, to every cell need is needed is about 90% and our body weight is about 70% of the water therefore to keep water inside our body is very important number second important hormone of posterior lobe is oxytocin oxytocin is also known as love hormone or the or binding hormone it increase attachment towards the baby is in the mother it help or stimulate the release of milk in the mothers or during the delivery period it's it's this hormone is very important because oxytocin when increase in the blood it reduces the amount of progesterone so that uterine muscle relaxes and delivery become more easy the anterior lobe of pituitary gland four trophin hormones these trophin hormones means they activate other glands number one is a thyroid stimulating hormone or tsh tsh activate thyroid gland and thyroid gland when it is activated it releases some kind of chemicals other chemicals and other hormones which keeps the metabolism rate in inside our body balance that's why this hormone is very important the second hormone hormone in uh, 
uh, of the anterior pituitary lobe is ACTH. This stands for a adenocorticotropin hormone. It activates the adrenal gland, which is very important also because it releases releases hormones of emergency condition in emergency condition with different kinds of hormones are released by adrenaline gland we will discuss when we study adrenaline gland the third important hormone of adrenal uh, third important hormone of uh, anterior pituitary gland is follicle follicular stimulating follicular stimulating hormone or fsh this hormones this hormone develop and activate the gonads in the males the male gonads are called testes so under the supervision of this hormone these gonads develop and become mature in female the gonad female gonad are called ovaries so they also do the same function in the female they develop and make them mature the fourth important <coughs> trophin hormone is known as lh or luteinizing hormone this hormone help to produce sex cell or germ cell in the males which are sperm and female which are ova under the supervision of this hormone means luteinizing hormone these cells develop and become mature so these are the four top in hormones beside these hormone there are two other hormone of anterior pituitary gland that uh, these are so metotropin hormone or also known as gh this hormone help us to grow the action of site of this hormone is our muscles and bones this hormone make them enlarge so that we can grow at the time of age in different age, time periods we grow when this hormone is released we grow when this hormone is not released we become short we become dwarf when this hormone is too much inside our body we become too much tall and when, when this hormone is very less in our body we become dwarf the last important hormone of anterior pituitary gland is known as msh or melanocyte stimulating hormone this hormone stimulates the melanocyte cells of the skin melanocyte cells when are stimulated this secrete melanin which saves our skin from sun's harmful rays so that is all about pituitary gland now you have understood the importance of pituitary gland this is very important gland the hormones have very vital role inside our body so if you want to know more about them keep in touch keep remain in touch with me subscribe my channel like my channel and share the whatever you learned with your friends so for today it's Tata and goodbye.